America's three biggest enemies, China, Russia, and North Korea, we're told that these three rogue nations are building a strong military alliance that will pose a grave threat to the United States. There is even word that these three nations are engaging in a secret mission against the United States. This information comes from high-ranking Chinese Communist Party whistleblowers that are still inside China. Those whistleblowers are in constant contact with the new federal state of China, the group aimed at taking down and ultimately replacing the CCP in China. With details of this explosive new intelligence coming out of China, details you'll see only here on Stinchfield, Nicole Tsai from the new federal state of China is with us. Nicole, welcome to the program. And it's just coincidence tonight, Nicole, that Peter Navarro is actually an ambassador of the new federal state of China. And of course, Steve Bannon, one of its founders, Nicole. Well, I'm very sorry to hear about um, Mr. Uh, Peter Navarro's situation. He's a very good friend of NFSC, and he's a great supporter of our movement to take down the Chinese Communist Party. And our, you know, we pray for his freedom and we pray for his justice. Yeah. So tell me, um, moving on to this this breaking news, you you tipped me off to. Um, Kim Jong Un is supposed to go to Russia about this arms deal. Well, now we're learning China is sending diplomats to North Korea first. What's going on here? Well, remember, Kim Jong-un has been staying at home for more than four years, and this is his very first international trip. He's going to meet with Putin, and he's actually going to iron out some details about secret plan that has been put together by the members of the new axis of evil, that is China, Russia, and North Korea. So this secret plan has three purposes. One is to help relieve Russia's predicament in the Ukrainian war. Two is to provide countermeasures against U.S., NATO, Japan, and South Korea. And three, to prepare the war readiness for CCP to attack Taiwan. So according to our exclusive intel from our China sources, people who are risking their life to give us this you know, important intel that is under this secret plan, Russia is going to provide food, oil, technology, to North Korea and send military expert to North Korea to help them set up military factory and nuclear facilities for North Korea to produce rockets, missiles, satellites, and even bioweapons. And CCP Xi Jinping is also going to provide technology and important materials that are needed by North Korea to produce combat zones that includes steel, aluminum alloy, gunpowder, chips, and uh, you know, um, and other necessary materials. Nicole, and who has come up with this plan? Is this Xi Jinping that has orchestrated this? Great question. You're absolutely right. This plan was initiated by Xi Jinping, and the first uh, delegation that was led by the CCP's Minister of National Defense, uh, Li Shangfu, he's currently under the U.S. sanction. So it's China who initiated this plan. And so they already sent special envoys to North Korea to you know, discuss about this, but before Kim Jong-un's upcoming trip to Russia. So this is a secret plan. And we know that in return, Russia, uh, North Korea is going to send anywhere between 300,000 to 500,000 soldiers to Russia. And so what is China going to get from this deal? Well, Russia has promised to Xi Jinping that they are going to give up that entire island. It has a funny name. It's called the Boishui Yuriski Island uh, that was under dispute since 2004. And Russia promised that it will give the entire island to CCP and also promised to you know, lease Siberia to China for a period of anywhere between 10 to to 100 years. So, so we're clearly seeing a formation of the new axis of evil right under our nose. All right. So let me just review this. We've got Russia that's going to send military experts to North Korea to help them build all kinds of military equipment, rockets, you name it, weapons, all of these things. In return, North Korea is going to send 
soldiers, 100,000, 300,000 no, soldiers? 300,000 to 500,000 soldiers. And the first to deployment will be about 20,000 soldiers in the name of Logistic Corps.